Ex cheated on me and falsely accused me of rape, so I exposed her to everyone she knew. In late May 2016, I asked my crush, Kate, of three years out on a coffee date. Three dates later, we made things official. For the next seven months, our relationship felt too good to be true. We clicked on so many interests, so we hardly ever disagreed on anything, we were very open with each other, which lead to an incredible sex life, we both had good jobs so we had money to spoil one another, and our families were both enthusiastic about our relationship. In January 2017, I was accepted into my country's armed forces reserve program as a combat engineer. I underwent basic training from February to late April, and was up until then the hardest thing I had ever done. There were several times I thought I wouldn't graduate, and the only thing that kept me going was Kate's words of encouragement over texts and calls. She was there when I received my BTC certificate, and never let me forget how proud she was of me. As part of my job in the reserves, I would have to go away in the summer for advanced training, between early June to late August. Kate fully supported me going 400 kilometers away to the training center, and spending almost our entire summer break on work, to further my military career. The summer was brutal on me, I was a social outcast from every clique that formed on our course, and was the butt of several jokes. My self-esteem plummeted through the floor, but Kate's belief in me was what made me prevail. I passed as fifth best on course, and I owed it all to her. The Decline, Subheading Things between us started to sour after returning home. According to her, I wasn't as spontaneous and outgoing as before I went away. I was dismissive, took small jabs and jokes as personal insults, and would rather stay in, watch movies, and have sex instead of going out. Unbeknownst to both of us, I had developed some nasty social anxiety due to the events of the summer, and it started affecting our relationship. Nearing our two-year anniversary in 2018, we got into a heated argument over a small misunderstanding, and subsequently broke up. I was incredibly distraught, before she texted me three days later and said she wanted to try and fix things. I didn't see her for three weeks, but we kept in touch every day, slowly mending things. When we officially got back together, nothing felt the same. Every time I talked with her, it was if I was walking on eggshells, and it only worsened my anxiety, which in turn hurt our already damaged relationship. Then things finally came to a head at the end of July. The Hurt, Subheading While in school, Kate had met a dude named John. She saw in John what she used to see in me, and they quickly became very close friends. He consoled her through our breakup and every little time I messed up afterwards. For the record, I knew of John, but never thought Kate would ever do anything with him. One night after work, we had planned for me to stay the night at Kate's place. I arrived to see the two of them chilling on the living room couch. Kate said that John had dropped by for a spontaneous visit, and he was just leaving. After John left, she became cold and distant. I slowly accepted that our relationship was dead, and asked her how things were between us. She echoed my thoughts, and we agreed to break up the next day. She said I could stay the night one last time, seeing how it was late and she was still worryful of me. From there on until she fell asleep, Kate became uncharacteristically glued to and protective of her phone. In the past, she wouldn't care if I had glanced over to catch her and her friends texting about whatever, but now she did her best to hide the screen from me. I asked her about it, and she said it was private stuff, which only raised more questions. After she fell asleep, curiosity got the better of me, I unlocked her phone, I knew her passcode, and found hundreds of messages between her and John. Messages about how she was now single, how exciting it was that they could now be a couple in public, and laughing at me about every little thing I did. I quietly sobbed as I read through each hurtful text. My crying wasn't as quiet as I thought. Kate stirred, and once she realized what I was doing, she threw a fit. I couldn't find the anger or words to combat her, so I just grabbed my stuff and left, with Kate shouting and yelling at me the whole time. It was late in the morning when I got home, I just broke down and ugly cried all night. I called in sick from work the next day, and spent it sulking in my bed. The day after, I got several angry texts from Kate's friends and family. In a bid to save her image and denounce anything I might say about her, she told anyone she knew that I had forced myself upon her that night in one last attempt to get some before we broke up, and left after the deed was done. Though what I had done was scarring, she refused to press charges because she didn't want to make a circus of her life in court and was the bigger person by doing so. I spent the next few months in fear that her allegation would have me discharged from the army and my image forever tarnished, but nothing ever happened. End of part 1. Part 2 contains revenge. 
Thank you for watching the video. Please like, share and subscribe my channel for more such stories.